There's no denying that a strong villain makes a great story. Some standout examples include MCU Thanos and Pain from Naruto. But what the hell? Both virtuous villains so obsessed with achieving their end goal that it leads them down a twisted path. Almighty push! Then you have these guys, who are basically just evil because they hate the main character. Now we're gonna start off with Aquaman's arch nemesis. Not this guy, this guy, Black Manta. Uh, you know, he looks, I, I will say he looks really cool as a character. But unfortunately, the writers can't seem to give him a good backstory because they keep changing his origin and it gets progressively worse for some reason. Originally, he just wanted to build a utopia for black people underwater. So this man just wanted to build Wakanda in the water, but he saw Aquaman as competition. Even though the ocean is quite frankly gigantic, he could have just built his, his civilization literally anywhere in the ocean, but decided to challenge Aquaman. For, for some reason, the king of Atlantis. Like, you couldn't just you couldn't just find somewhere else to build it. Also, fun fact, around this time, Black Manta actually killed Aquaman's son. Like, that, that is some fucked shit. That's something you do to someone you really hate. But at this point in his character's history, it wasn't even explained as to why he was beefing with Aquaman in the first place. Like, he just hated Aquaman. The reason why he hated him so much wasn't explained until 20 years later when it was revealed that Black Manta was actually kidnapped as a child by pirates. While he was kidnapped, he was also getting abused, and one day he saw Aquaman outside in the ocean playing with his dolphin friends. So he tried to signal Aquaman for help, but Aquaman was too busy playing with the dolphins. This left Black Manta to fend for himself, so he ended up killing one of his captors to escape. And from that day on, he decided to hate Aquaman, because because Aquaman didn't see him because he was too busy playing with the dolphins. So yeah, that single event in his life caused him to hate Aquaman forever. So much so that he decided to murder his child. But if you thought that origin story was goofy, let me present to you the 2003 version of Black Manta. Now this one's iconic, probably my personal favorite. I'd argue that it should be the definitive version of Black Manta. So in this version, Black Manta was an autistic orphan that was held in Arkham Asylum. <laughs> I'm 100% serious, okay? This is a real storyline, by the way. Stop laughing. For some reason, his autism made him really like being submerged in cold water. Like, it felt ex ex he felt ecstatic when he was submerged in cold water, which is very convenient considering that's what the ocean is. He also hated the feeling of like cotton sheets, you know, like blankets and stuff. Being tucked into a warm, cozy bed felt like excruciating pain to him. Again, you know, very convenient for this character. And then, you know, the doctors would experiment on him and uh, they were actually getting close to curing his autism. But the experiments had the side effect of making him more aggressive and also giving him superhuman strength. So now there's this angry superhuman autistic boy and uh, <laughs> I'm, <clears throat> I'm being 100% serious, okay? This is... This is a real storyline. So then he ends up breaking out of the asylum while killing some doctors on the way out because they were abusing him while he was there. And then he decides to become uh, Black Manta. And he hates Aquaman still. Because he has a warped mind because of the experiments and the autism. What the fuck? I don't know how this story was greenlit. Like... I don't know who let bro cook. This story was like pitched to executives. Like executives executives approved this story this went through multiple checks and somehow got published like i don't <laughs> i i don't know how this made it past the modern version of black manta however hates aquaman for a different reason and it's because aquaman accidentally killed his father you know this one's actually the most simple one and probably the most reasonable reason as to why you'd be a villain this one's too reasonable let's bring back the autistic one next up we have comics biggest hater reverse flash also known as eobard thon by the way, that is a stupid name. How do you- how does that- This man was an obsessed Flash fanboy from the 25th century who decided to recreate the Flash's experiment that gave him powers so he could get his own set of super speed. With his newfound powers, he used them to travel back in time to meet his idol, the Flash, aka Barry Allen. But Barry wasn't giving him enough attention and he felt like he was getting neglected. He then began to resent him and decided to become his greatest nemesis. This man has super speed, possibly the most OP power you could ever have. You can travel across the world at light speed. 
you can create tornadoes by running in circles. You can phase through solid objects because you can vibrate your body fast enough to go through the molecules. You can travel to the past by running faster than time itself. Yet out of all the things he can apply his powers towards, he dedicates them to fucking over Barry's life. This man literally traveled back in time to kill Barry Allen's mom when he was a child and then proceeded to frame his father for his mother's murder. So his father ended up going to jail. And this is actually one of the key events that led to Barry becoming the Flash. Yeah, you heard that right. Reverse Flash created the Flash and the Flash created Reverse Flash. Huh? because comic books and time travel. This man could have easily killed Barry when he was a child, but decided not to, because then he wouldn't be able to shit on his life anymore. He also broke Barry's arm when he was a kid one time by pushing him down the stairs. He also erased Barry's childhood friend from existence just because he didn't want him to be happy. He also did the villain classic and killed the love of his life, but he didn't stop there, because when the Flash finally found another woman to marry. He, he attempted to kill her also. So Barry Allen, completely justified, snaps his neck because, you know, he already lost one, he's not gonna lose another. But then he gets tried and found guilty for murder after killing Reverse Flash. So even in death, Mr. Eobard is still Fortnite dancing on him. And because comic books, Barry's first love and Reverse Flash end up coming back. And what does this evil man decide to do? Well, Back to basics, he tries to kill her again. Bro needs to get a life, like imagine dedicating your entire supervillain career to fucking over the same person repeatedly. Anything that's ever gone wrong in his life, or any tiny little annoying event, was probably caused because of him. It was me, Barry. Like he just straight up hates him. He is like the embodiment of Twitter keyboard warriors if they got superpowers. Like I'm just so petty that I want to ruin your life. I just don't want to see you successful at all, I'm praying on your downfall. Next up we have Lex Luthor, this bald ass boy, chrome dome looking ass motherfucker. We all know that he hates Superman, but did you know that this poor, poor bald soul actually used to have hair? He unfortunately lost his hair when Superman did an oopsie, which resulted in him becoming bald. You bald as shit. I'd be crying if I look like that too bro, that's fucked up what they be doing to y'all. You probably have the full washing set, it should be fire probably if they ain't cut your shit. If that is not one of the stupidest reasons to become a supervillain, then I don't know what is. Nowadays, he just hates Superman because he's jealous of him. He's jealous that he has powers, and he's also jealous of the fact that he's not even from Earth, yet everyone on Earth loves him. But honestly, I don't know why you'd even be jealous of someone with superpowers in the DC Universe, considering you could probably get your own superpowers. Anything in real life that would probably kill you, like radiation or lightning strikes, would probably give you superpowers in the DC universe. Why doesn't this man just get his own superpowers? Oh wait, he did get his own set of powers. One that would make him a literal god. Powers that would allow him to literally create world peace. The only caveat being that he couldn't have any negative feelings. But he decided to denounce these powers because he realized he couldn't make Superman suffer anymore. This guy is... Ugh. If we learned anything valuable today, it's that DC writes the most petty, dumb shit, fucking idiot villains. It's not because of money, it's not because of world domination, it's not because they're psychopaths, it's, it's solely because they just hate one guy. 